have it, the official look of the new Kamen Rider, and it's Fortnite themed. Keza, Henshin. Okay, not really, but you have to admit it sounds similar. Let's go through the details, wade through all the rumors, and highlight the correct ones from the misleading ones. And bask in this new form. Honestly, this era of Kamen Rider is beautiful. Anyway, we recently got a trailer for Battle Familia, the Kamen Rider Geats X Kamen Rider Revice winter movie coming out around Christmas time. And we got the first view of this Kamen Rider. Just look at it, the colors, the fox theme, the half and half with a scarf like W, I love it already. Now, let's get into the details. Coming out September 4th, after the end of Revice, we get Kamen Rider Geats, apparently a battle royale series with a kitsune or fox themed rider? Hence the Fortnite reference at the beginning. Guess I have to start playing Fortnite again. The name Geats, when mixed around, makes up the word stage, which makes sense cause battle royale. Thanks for whoever worked that out on Twitter by the way, I would have never matched it to stage. I'm too dyslexic unfortunately. But something I worked out myself, sorry if anyone else saw this. The ears on the helmet are the same shape as the A in Geats. Now I feel smart. This battle royale game is called the Desire Grand Prix and apparently is to protect the citizens of their city and keep the peace? Uh, why not just fight the enemy instead of making it a game? Feels a bit like George from Revice playing and experimenting. We will see. We do know the name of the enemy though, the Gemato, who we know very little about, but excited to hear and see more in the future. As the rumors said, there will be the Grand Prix game with multiple Kamen Riders participating in the fight, possibly six to eight riders fighting for the ultimate prize, the right to bring an ideal world to life. What the f does that mean? This honestly seems like some playing God scenario. So if an evil person was to win, all hell breaks loose and we have to accept it? Seems like a flawed plan if it goes wrong, or the wrong person wins. Is it a wish and it just happens, or is it just a change of government or no government at that point? Are the Don brothers involved in this? As it seems like the point system and their wishes, maybe that's the versus movie. But ultimately, the winner gets to shape the world they see fit. Still seems dangerous. The actor who'll be taking on the mantle of the next Kamen Rider has not actually been announced yet. The character is, however, called Yukio Hidetoshi, also known as Ace. We don't know any other characters yet, but I'm excited to know more. Though we know my previous rumor video for Kamen Rider Geats may be incorrect, I still have some hope for us to get animal themed riders like in the rumor, such as a horse, a bull, a monkey, a wolf, and a bird. I'm just naming characters from Don Brothers and Mamotaro's story, aren't I? <sighs> Though we might not know much about the characters, we do know more about the crew. Producers, we have Chihiro Inoue and Naomi Takabe. Directors, we have Shojiro Nakazawa and Teruaki Sugahara. Yuya Takahashi as the main writer, Hiroshi Butsada as the SFX director, and finally Satoshi Fujita as action director. This seems like a well-prepared team with history in the industry. So I feel we are in safe hands. Hopefully. However, along with the poster and preview of the Battle Familia movie, we also got a cheeky leak. Shh. And within this leak, I was able to come up with some theories, but also identify a few things. Firstly, we have an epic bike, which is Kitsune themed and looks so cool. I think it also flies and combines with Geats for their final rider kick. And I'm like super duper excited to see it in all its glory. And we also got a transformation preview, which is beautiful. And are you ready for it? Let's go. No, I lied. Sorry, we didn't, though it would have been funny. You should have seen how excited you all got. <laughs> uh, okay, it wasn't, wasn't that funny. But what we did see is that his powers are divided between the top half, his main weapon being a gun, and the lower half, which I think is bike themed, called Magnum and Boost. We also have the name of the driver, which is called the Desire Driver, which leads me to my first few predictions. With the use of this driver, he has Magnum and Boost, which makes me think it's very common rider double themed, for example, with the different forms and the powers that can change depending on the need, an inserted coin or gear, for example. Just imagine, we get other fox themed colors, like a moon fox possibly, or an evil fox, that would be cool. Also, with the belt being called a desire belt, makes me think that this show is all about desires, wishes, and fortunes. The leak has Geats talking about how their fortunes have changed, and this makes sense due to the Kitsune theme, which is very prevalent in mythical Japanese folk stories. Kitsune Mythical Lesson 
Kitsunes are known for their magical abilities, seen as tricksters with a mischievous side, but also as messengers from gods to remind people to give their offerings. Kitsunes are also known to trick powerful people and can have up to nine tails with powers growing as they get older. Lesson over. Now thinking about what we just learnt, could we also be getting other riders that are kitsunes? Or other forms that are kitsunes specifically for geats? Or maybe something about nine tails as a final form? Or even could we be getting other Japanese mythical creatures as rider forms instead of just animals? Just imagine another rider could be a um kappa form, a tengu form, a tanuki form? There are just so many questions and worries with that one. But ultimately, it's the fortunes and offerings that have me interested. And finally, what are my thoughts overall? Honestly, I'm excited. With the success of Don Brothers going with the more Japanese folk story route, I have high hopes for Geats with this Kitsune theme. Personally, I love Japanese mythology and connecting that to this rider, the helmet specifically looks like the traditional Japanese Kitsune masks used in festivals, which fills my Japanese obsession to the max. Along with the sleek white Kitsune design and the contrast red across the body and the helmet and that awesome scarf possibly meant to be the tail. Also, I love how the ears are on the helmet. Honestly, this era's helmets are wild but satisfying. Also, it has a mini nose pointing out. It's so cute. I am so hyped. Thoughts on the premise though, however, honestly, I'm unsure. I mean, I love the Japanese folk story element, don't get me wrong, but this show is all about the Grand Prix, a fight to save the people in the city, but in a game form, making their way up the scoreboard, but also to grant themselves a wish to shape the world as they see fit. It's very much about them specifically winning, instead of working together to overcome the hardships and help the city, which is the normal feel for a common rider. Do they really need an incentive of the ultimate wish to help their city survive? Feels very detached instead of a human and as in a demon with his family, or a detective with his friends solving crime for their city, or a traveler with his bird. Do you get what I mean? It's very all about my view of the world, my wish, I'll win. Also, from the leak, the character of A seems kind of a know it all, or very smug, and I'm not too sure if I like that character as much. But anyway, that's my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. More and more rumors are coming out while we get more and more leaks and previews. So I can't wait to get more and more info soon as we get closer and closer to the preview date. I need to stop repeating myself. I hope you guys are as hyped as I am. Now I'll chat to you next time. Here's a henshin. Mahdaneh.